People need to understand when it comes to fiction, fiction likes to over-exaggerate a lot of things and put its own spin on it. So when people read the definition of something, they go, well, so Tama contradicts this. Infinity is something that's not growing. And these same people don't realize there are so many different types of affinity that ain't even funny. But what people always refer to is the infinity that's always constantly growing. That's the only infinity that they know that these people know about. They don't know about the other freaking infinities, and it's beyond painful. But even with that, but even with that, fiction at the end of the day isn't always going to make sense. It's not always going to make sense because it's fiction. We sit here to, and use real world logic in an attempt to understand fiction. But we're not going to always understand it all the time. It is what it is. But instead of people accepting that, they just double down on their stance like, yep, this is how it's supposed to work. It contradicts. Take the speed of light, for instance. I ask, is it possible for humans to move at the speed of light? Y'all go ahead and read that. The answer is fucking no. We, we humans have too much fucking mass. We have too much freaking mass. The only thing that's moving at the speed of light in our reality is massless particles including photons which make up light can travel at that speed it's impossible to accelerate any material object up to the speed of light because it will take an infinite amount of energy to do so dude you got so many fictional characters who are humans aliens whatever moving at the speed of light you got a lot of these characters who don't even have an infinite amount of energy, but yet they're able to move at the speed of light. Because these people understand that works of fiction take this idea of light speed and they put their own twist on that shit. The limitations we have in the real world, they take away those limitations and put it in fiction. Now, all of a sudden, you don't need an infinite amount of energy to travel at the speed of light. You don't need to be a massless mass of freaking particles in order to travel at light speed. You can do that with all your flesh intact. <laughs> but yeah, nobody bats the eye at this. Oh, no, no, no. You got some of those weirdos who actually sit here, no fictional characters faster than light, and, and, and they literally quote this. This is a appeal to reality fallacy. This is a appeal to reality fallacy. It's the same thing when people sit here and try to discredit Saitama for having infinite strength. You see the infinity symbol by his strength stat, but yet you sit here and you say, no, his strength isn't actually infinite because his power was growing. Can you not see the creator put his own spin on infinity? Like, seriously. Can you not see that? Like, what the fuck? People sit here and scream, this is a no limits fallacy motherfucker the creator literally made his character without a limit what he's saying is literally supported by the author this shit right here this is legit this is literally legit he made this man without a limit but yeah y'all be the first ones to cry out to no limits fallacy bitch he literally made his character without a limit. 
All I have to do is have him show up to punch the problem away. Bro, thinking of a plot that involved a lot of thinking and cleverness for the main character to get over any obstacle requires a lot of experience and knowledge. So I think it's a bit too hard for me. In St. Thomas' case, all I have to do is have him show up to punch the problem away. Sweet mother of God. Dude. This man basically said YOLO. He created this motherfucker without a limit. But yet we get people every day trying to place a limit on this character. The way they're scaling this character and the way they're trying to represent this character and say this is how his powers work. Oh, he has finite power. But the work of fiction contradicts that at every fucking turn. I can't make this up. Y'all come up with fucking head cannon arguments to say, well, this is hyperbole. Oh, this is contradicting in so many ways. No, it's not. People need to understand at the end of the day, all I'm doing is digging up information to make the best sense out of this shit. Because the factual information has his strengths at literally at infinite. And you got Garo further confirming, damn, he's infinitely strong. He doesn't say anything about potential. He just says strong. Matching this shit right here. His strength has infinity symbol by it. You got Garo literally telling you he's infinitely fucking strong. There literally is no limit here. You people sit here and say he has a finite level of power. There is no finite level of power here. That's your head cannon. How, how far do we have to go for you people to realize you're using head cannon to replace the facts? Oh, this character doesn't know what he's talking about. I know much more than him. No, you don't. You're not even putting in nearly as much effort as me to understand this information. And the majority of you never will because you don't care to because y'all think y'all already know it all and it's beyond annoying. We use real world physics in an attempt to understand what's going on in fiction. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. A lot of the times, these fictional worlds, they put their own spin on things. In the real world, it's impossible for a human being to go faster than the speed of light. Or even get close to that speed on our own. But in the world of fiction, you got so many characters moving at the speed of light that it ain't even funny. It ain't even freaking funny. Another requirement for us to move at the speed of light is it will require infinite energy. My oh boy, we got so many fictional characters in fiction without infinite energy. Are you going to sit here and say, well, they don't meet the requirements to move at the speed of light. Therefore, <laughs> they're not actually moving at the speed of light. Absolutely none of them are. Y'all remember Fire Force? You got people here saying Shinra is literally one of the very few characters who is actually moving at the speed of light because he's actually doing what it requires you to do to move at the speed of light in the real world. So therefore, he's one of the first of very few characters to actually move the speed of light. Everybody else is just hyperbole. Yeah, I can't make this shit up. You got some people running around with that fucking argument. Which is so downright ridiculous that I didn't even screenshot that shit to fucking entertain it. That's how cracked out it is. Like, get that shit away from me. I'm not even going to entertain it. You go, go, go argue over there in the corner somewhere. Shoot. This is the same thing with Infinity. Ooh, well, Infinity is something that's that, that, that doesn't grow, my boy. You're talking about one type of infinity. You're talking about the infinity that's constantly formed. 
not realizing there's other types of infinities. You people tell on yourselves. And I make videos showcasing these different types of affinities, but y'all never watch these fucking videos. These people aren't interested in knowing the truth. They just want to be fucking right. To me, it makes no sense how the fuck a finite number can be can literally become infinite. That's not how that works. Based on um real life, and to be fair, infinity hasn't even been actually proven in our actual reality. So that's another topic that people aren't ready to fucking have. Man, this video is already too long. Leave your thoughts in the comment section because we just got a bunch of, bro, it's just, it's, it's way too many people, way too many random people who are morons in the anime community, bro. I'm just going to be blunt, bro. The more and more I make these videos, the more and more I come to the realization that the majority of people don't care about the truth. They don't care about the proper facts. They don't care about actually understanding shit. They, they, they simply take what they think they understand and they fucking run with it. And then they see other people thinking like they do, so they must be right. And from there, they just double down on their bullshit. So yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section. It's... It's whatever. It don't matter how much better I get at showcasing this information or breaking it down. You're always going to have an a, a uncountable number of people to double down on their ignorance who don't even come in and watch the video, who sit here and it's just, it's just yeah, just damn. That's why my block... My block button is strong. I used to sit here and argue with these people like crazy, but I become so tame with that shit. It's the same as arguments, the same as taunts. It's, it's nothing new at this point. It's it's really nothing new. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. All trolls will be blocked. <laughs>